Welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. Last time we took on the Petalburg Gym and we won. It was a little bit of a long episode, but we triumphed and it was glorious. It was actually a really tough battle. A really tough bunch of battles, really. All right, so, uh, yeah, we also got a special HM last time, Surf. Let's teach it. Because it's actually a really powerful move, and only one Pokemon can learn in our team, Bloop. Let's teach it. Let's finally, finally get rid of this absurd water gun. Because it's a 40 as opposed to 95. Yeah, get that out of here. And it can also hit two Pokemon in a double battle. I mean, why would you not want Surf? Like, really, it's it's a really good move as a TM, or HM, rather. And, yeah. <laughs> and now that we've beaten the gym and gotten that HM, we can go across the water. And get this, a uh, get this item. A max revive? Dude. That's so good. What the heck? Now we we only hear little snippets of that theme because well we're not on the water for long, but it's a it's a good theme. Is there an item here? No, here. Yeah, rare candy. Oh man, there are so many good things across the water. Like hidden items and just items in general, max revives and ether? What? Okay. That restores the power of moves. So, like, you don't need to re always restore at a Pokemon Center. Like, if. Uh, if you're out of Absorb, you can use that to restore its PP, which is good. And now that we have the power of water, we have so many freaking things that we can do. Like, our world just opened up massively because just look at how much water is on this map. Like, there's this whole he area that we can go across here now. We can go all the way down across these routes. Except you can't go this way because of reasons. Oh, we'll get into that later. We can go north of Rustboro even. Although I think there's things that's blocking that too. But yeah, you can go across lakes and rivers and oceans galore. Which is just awesome. And... Uh, do I even want to go up there? There's a couple things that we can get. But they can wait until later. I don't know. We could, we could run into that slack off I was talking about on the way there. Although we're already through most of the grass. Here we go. Pokemon? Pokemon? Not slack off, though. Heck. I don't even know if it's even in Emerald, now that I think about it. It may be a, like a trade Pokemon. Since I've not run into it yet, it, it may be. No, that was just a Wurmple. Oh well. And we have all this water we can go across, and you can actually run into wild Pokemon on the water, which is cool. I mean, if you want a wild Pokemon that's a water type, then, then <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you could go on the water and look for Pokemon. Although I haven't run into any Pokemon yet on the water. There we go. Is this Wingle? It may be Wingle. It's probably Wingle. It's Wingle. Oh, it's a level 28 Pokemon. Dang. Holy. Can't escape. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, there you go. So yeah, Pokemon can be really high leveled in the water, if you couldn't tell from that. Uh, did I get the item that was in the water? Uh... 
I don't know that I did. And I don't remember what item it was. If I got it, I probably got it. Ha ha ha! It's Trent uh, climbing uh, exercise steeper mountains. Ahoy! Okay, yeah, I got that item. Okay, so yeah, now that we have that, uh, I don't know. Was there even anything up here? I don't know that there was that we can access from here. What do you say? Exploring a cave isn't walking uh, like walking on a road. You never know while, uh, when wild Pokemon will appear. It's full of suspense. Yeah. 115. And we can go across this water as well, which is awesome. Oh, what's this? Super potion. I mean, we could have used that a while ago, I guess. <laughs> Free super potion? I'll take it. Won't turn it down. And we have all these trainers to fight because there are trainers up here that we can fight. Bum -ba -dum. <sighs> I might fight you. And again, maybe not. <laughs> no? Great ball. And I'll take a free great ball. Won't deny it. Oh, there's a double battle there. Look, berries. Now, you may be wondering where the heck does this even lead from? Because there's a route up north. Well, uh, that leads from Meteor Falls. And you could get here before then if you took the route down from Meteor Falls, but uh, you couldn't get across the water down here. Oh, I guess the water's over this way. So yeah, it's a, it, if, if you took that route, it's just a one-stop shop. So there's not a lot of reason to, because then you'd have to do a lot of backtracking back then. But since we have Surf now, we can just go up here to Meteor Falls. Is there an item here? Item? 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 No item? No item. But there is a Pokemon that we didn't run into last time because, well, we were dealing with Team Magma and they were being an issue. So we kind of needed to stop them. Really? I couldn't run away from a Zubat? It's not like it's the fastest Pokemon in the world, but like, or the slowest rather, but I feel like I would have been able to run away easily. But yeah, there's a Pokemon up here that, actually, is that an Emerald? I don't know that it is. May not be available in Emerald. Okay, well, in Ruby and Sapphire, anyways, there are uh, version exclusive Pokemon that I don't know if one or the other are in Emerald. And they're in Meteor Falls here. A Moonstone. But yeah, they may be here in Emerald, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm only running into Zubat right now. Hopefully we can run into it if it's here, but I'm not having any luck right now. All right, the version exclusive Pokemon that may or may not be here in Emerald are uh, Lunatone and Solrock. The sun and the moon. So... Yeah, they may be here in Emerald. They may not. I don't know. They're not appearing. Oh, hey! Wow, okay, here's Soul Rock. So yeah, here's the sun. It's the it's a rock in the shape of a sun, and it's I don't know, I've never used Soul Rock. I mean Lunatone's cool, but I don't know, I've just never used Soul Rock. So I don't really have a lot of uh strong impressions of it but it's neat it doesn't evolve or anything but it's it's a rock and psychic type so that's neat I'm gonna catch it just because I can 
Ooh, okay. Rock throw, really? Ball. Great ball, even. Uh, okay. Let's try that again. Because I feel like I was robbed on that. Oh, wow, okay. Soul Rock, jeez. Shouldn't be this hard to catch. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. What in the world? Pokeball, go. I have a lot of Pokeballs, so maybe it would be better to use them? Okay. Okay, sure, Soul Rock. I guess you just prefer to regular Pokeball. Soul Rock's a meteorite Pokemon. Solar energy is the source of this Pokemon's power. On sunny days, groups of Soul Rock line up facing the sun and absorb its light. Uh. Eh. So, yeah, it's uh, uh, the sun and a rock, and it fell to Earth on a meteor or something, supposedly. <laughs> Same with Lunatone, except it's the moon. And yeah, that's really all I wanted to do in there because really you can't do anything else in here right now because, uh, because reasons. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm just going to leave it. Screw it. It's cave and I don't want to go in there right now. But, uh, now because we have surf. You can go north still. That's not in the cave. Because there's this little outcrop of land up here that has some trainers that we can fight. Oh, there's also some secret bases up here. Where are these trainers? Oh, there's one. Uh, yo, do you want to battle? I'll battle while I'm running. Try to keep up with me. Are you a battle girl or are you... Oh, you're a triathlete. Well. Okay. I guess I'm fighting a bird. My cactus. Not my cactus, though. My speakers. Go, Shriek! Rage? Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, Shockwave. Because it's still the only move that's good good on birds. Oh, but you uh, try attack. It's not great for me. Hmm. Wow, that didn't knock you out. Okay. Good on you. Yes. Bow, 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 bow. Dodrio. Oh. The evolved form of Doduo. Okay. Shockwave again. Zap. Ooh. Rage is building. I am going to heal. <laughs> because that would be the smart thing to do. Man, I need to pick up more healing stuff, especially because of that gym that we just bought. Dang. Holy moly! That that was a strong move. Wow. Uh, bloop. No, I'm trying to think of the best course of action, but I'm not coming up with a lot of solutions. Man, this Dodrio is kind of strong-ish. Glad we're coming up against strong Pokemon now, though. Okay, I'm just gonna use Surf.
Yeah, it's good that we're coming up against strong Pokemon now because I was <laughs> I was a little worried earlier when I was just steamrolling everything when my Pokemon were starting to be like 10 levels above all the trainers. Dang. I made the mistake of trying to run a ba uh trying to battle while running. I should take a uh it should take a run to calm down. Uh, that's just gonna make you more tired, lady. Just, just saying. <laughs> uh, reply on Shriek, just in case you never know. And uh, just, just, just heal. <laughs> just heal. It's fine. And we have this trainer. We could fight, but I I just want to get some items. Maybe some Pokemon. Oh, I see. Man, there's so many trainers up here. Focus Punch. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. Well, that's something I don't want to teach right now because that requires patience, that move. Because you can only uh, use Focus Punch at the end of the turn if you haven't gotten hit. Because it requires focus. And you can't really punch someone if you're not focused. Okay, so this iron, uh... I don't know, who am I going to teach this to? Uh, I mean, I could teach it to Choo Choo because he excels at defense already. Making him more defensive would be good, but I also just caught... Archibald a few episodes ago, so I'm just gonna give it to Archibald. Alright! Uh more battles? We got those items, which is good. So uh Yeah, more battle. You, my bachop, demand a battle. Man of little words, I like. Battle, battle, battle! Ouch, ouch, ouch! My Machop crew. So long as they seek power, I will grow strong with them. Okay, but one of them was a Machoke, not a Machop, so I don't think you can really call it a Machop crew. I mean, I guess old habits die hard, and it probably used to be a Machop, but okay. Take that! Ultra Pokemon Ninja Attack! Oh. Okay, little ninja child. I guess I shall battle with you now. A ninja ask. I guess all ninjas have ninja ask. Makes a little sense, I guess. Go, fire turtle. Beat him. Why, our strategy failed. Yep, I guess it did. <laughs> uh, but now here's a problem. Uh, now I can't go up here because this kid is blocking the path. And that is the only tall grass in this area. So, yeah, maybe I should have just battled him one square south. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, more battles. Oh, wait a minute, there's there's a gap where we can get tall grass from here. My Pokemon have black belt leveled strength. Our eyes met. There's no getting away now. Okay, so one of you is a battle girl and the other is... Oh, a psychic. Oh. Oh, there's four Pokemon here. Uh-oh. Faint attack? Oh, but... Pin Missile. Mm. Now this is a really tough decision because... Faint attack is just not a bad move at all. It always, it always hits. Meanwhile, Pin Missile has that accuracy problem and also it doesn't always hit five times. But it would be the only bug move, and I'm getting rid of it, which... I 
kind of need something for Lombre and Lotad in that family because their only real weakness is our flying and bug. And you do encounter them a fair bit. And bug is also good against dark, which I I don't have a lot of counters for. Uh, I could also just get rid of absorb. But then that renders the same type attack bonus gone, and also the Miracle Seed would only be working for Bullet Seed then. I could get rid of Bullet Seed, but I taught it through a TM, which he yeah, can't teach it again. Uh, I'll get rid of Leech Seed. Yeah, I think I'll get rid of Leech Seed. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, okay. I'm done with Leech Seed. Got rid of it for Faint Attack, which could be good against Psychic Pokemon, which this trainer still has. Okay, let's finish this battle. This is too humiliating. Gah, not bad. Okay, well now that battle's over, uh, get these Kelsey Berries, I guess. <laughs> I mean, they're just gonna be sitting here otherwise. And, uh, I don't know, maybe I could use them. If I don't actually use them, uh, sell them? I don't know. There's a dedicated pouch for berries for a reason. May as well collect these. All right, uh, what did they do anyways? Uh, Kelsey. Makes a Pokemon friendly, but lowers base attack. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'll probably not use them. All right, let's see what Pokemon are here. Talo. I mean, I haven't caught a Talo here in this game, in this save, in this LP, but eh, I'm good. Swallow. Uh oh, this could be bad for Archibald. Bye. Oh, Swablu is here. We've already caught it, but man, this is a route for birds, isn't it? I guess it would be hard for a lot of Pokemon to get here other than birds and water types. Unless they fall from the trees, like I guess Jigglypuff. I think this is actually the only place in the game that you can get Jigglypuff, which is interesting. I don't know a lot of other places where you can get Jigglypuff. I'll just catch it just for the lulls. Here anyways, uh, fighting trainers and getting items, so I may as well. Ah! Disable missed. Cool. Uh, Pokeball. What? Uh, not even one? Oh no, disable on my faint attacks that I'm not using anymore. Oh no. There we go. Yeah, I realized struggling was futile. Jigglypuff, the balloon Pokemon. Nothing can avoid falling asleep hearing a Jigglypuff song. The sound waves of its singing ma uh, voice match the brain waves of someone in the deep sleep. Ah. Science of singing. <laughs> oh, that's neat. Um, so yeah, I'm curious. Where I can find a Jigglypuff. Yeah, only on this route. It's only available on this route, which is kind of weird. Like, why this route specifically? Kind of strange. But we do have a Moonstone if we wanted a Wigglytuff, which uh, we kind of don't, but you can evolve it right now if you want. And then this nerd shows up. 
Man, this route really is for birds, isn't it? Uh, one more encounter, and if it's not anything new, I'll just leave. <laughs> All right, nothing new. Just the Taylo. Let's move on, because we have other things to do. Maybe? I don't know. We're getting up on time on my timer, but I've also had to cut out a few battles. So I don't really know where we are in terms of time. Get out of here, bird! All right, well, now that all that's done, uh, let's get out of this route before we run into more battles. Uh, do I want to fight these trainers? I don't know. They're not super significant. I'll fight this one. This beach is my secret training spot. Don't come butting in. Oh, yeah? Well, what if I want to? What are you going to do? You're going to battle me? If you're Meditite, that's 10 levels lower than all of my Pokemon. Oh, oh, honey. Oh, honey! Ooh, Stomp. Stomp could be good. Uh, uproar? Uh, stronger, uh, keeps you from sleeping, but I, there's also the strength of power and strength. And, uh, mm, uh, flinching. Uh, uh, get rid of Uproar. Get rid of it. Cool. I haven't trained enough. See, I... Oh. Okay, fine. You're free to come here. In return, I'd like to battle you again. Thanks, Cindy. So, yeah, I kind of glossed over that, but, uh, yeah, I got rid of, uh, Uproar for Stomp because I'm not really using it a lot anymore, and it's... I know this gives me, like, three moves that are kind of the same, but they're not really... And also, uh, if I want a weaker move so I can catch a Pokemon, I'm not going to use Uproar because it's just going to use the same move over and over and it'll just knock it out anyway. So, yeah, I know that's its whole thing being loud and obnoxious and, like, Uproar is a loud move, a sound-based move, but it's like, eh, I don't really need that. Like, there, there are other moves that I could maybe use that are, like, sound-based, right? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, well. Uh, uh, I guess I could battle you as well. My strongest still is busting bricks with my forehead. You know you're gonna get a concussion like that, right? Does this guy not know that he could get a concussion like that? Oh, it's only on the chop, eh. Ugh, my head is busted. Yeah, like I said, you're gonna get a concussion like that. You impress me. Give me a rematch after I do redo my training. <sighs> this guy. Well, uh, hmm. I have a dilemma. I could go north because there is something I would like to do quick, but I could also, like, go south because, like, if I go north, then I'll have to cycle around back down here anyways. And I, there's something I could... I'll just save it for later. What I was going to do was maybe, I don't know, uh, return the meteorite back to Professor Cosmo. Because you can do that back at Fall Arbor Town, but I don't want to go out of my way to do that right now. Because there's more pressing stuff that we could do. Like, I don't know, make progress towards new towns and stuff. Um, oh well. We're not, we're not ending this episode in Rustboro. Because we've spent loads of time in Rustboro. Let's end episode, uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm debating on where to end the episode. Alright, we're back in Petalburg. Now, we 
didn't do a lot this episode. I mean, we went on the water a bit. We got some stuff. Guess I trained up my Pokemon a bit. Mostly just Shriek and Archibald and I guess a little bit Choo Choo. Anyways, uh, next time we'll be exploring the ocean. Uh, I guess not the ocean. Water. We'll be exploring the water a bit more because we can explore across here. We can do all sorts of water stuff. So, yeah, we'll be going on the water a bit more next time. So, I'll see you next time for more Pokemon Emerald. Bye.